welcome back today. So I've kind of got a new setup here. I'm using uh, one of my my photography cameras. Well, I mean, it's a camera, but um, I just got a new uh, 77D by Canon and I've had it for a while, but I've never used it for filming. I use it all the time for my blog. So I thought I'd try this out for you guys today, see how it works. I'm kind of feeling discouraged today. I'm just looking at all these posts and it's just hard getting going and having people <laughs> notice me or want to watch my videos. So it's just, it's been a really hard day today. Just feeling like I'm not making any progress with each video I post. It requires more work because I'm getting more, I'm getting more obsessed with really making sure that the editing is done right and that the quality of the video is done well. It seems like with every video it's more work and I'm getting less and less uh, views and so I'm, I'm just really getting discouraged. I keep hearing you know people that are supporting me say keep going. Uh, you know it's not not every day is gonna be easy and Today's definitely one of those days. It's not, it's not easy. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, I've been contemplating even continuing doing this because it is so time consuming. Um, I film these videos during my son's nap or on the weekends when my husband has a, you know, can watch my kids or sometimes I do them in the evenings. Um, so it's something that I really love doing and I want to do and it's not like I'm here just to make money or any of that it's more a matter of you know being recognized for the work and I guess sometimes that just you know that takes time and um, I'm, I'm just trying to keep I'm trying to tell myself that today so Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to, let me just make sure my mic is on, yes. Um, I am going to do a basic look today that you can wear with any bold lip. I have uh, six lip colors that I am going to try on for you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna do a basic look so that the lip is the statement um, that you're trying to make. And I think that if you do something neutral on the cheeks and neutral on the eyes, um, it makes it a lot more wearable for the average woman to wear, you know, a Mac Rebel or, um, you know, the Urban Decay Anarchy. So these are bold colors. Some of them are dark. Some of them are not. Um, some are super vampy. Um, so like this Jouer, let me see. Like this Jouer, um, will it focus? Like this Jouer lip cream in Cabernet. So um, I'm gonna be trying this on. I also have MAC Rebel, um, which is a satin finish, but you can see by the look of that, that it's very, um, that's a bold color. Um, also have a Charlotte Tilbury in the shade So Marilyn. So I have a few, sorry, my hair's put back because I'm gonna put all my makeup off camera and then come back on here and show you guys this, um, these lips. But, um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And um, if you want to see me try on all of these gorgeous lip colors and show you how to wear a bold lip, then just keep watching. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the bold lips with fall around the corner it's always my favorite time of year I mean I think you can wear a bold lip anytime uh, if you have the guts and the determination to do it then you should do it and I, I I'm one of those people I will wear a dark vampy color in May I, I don't really I don't care about the time of year but I feel like fall is where most women feel more comfortable to wear a bold lip, so I figured now would be the best time to start doing that. Sorry, that's my baby wipes, I have them down here. So I figured that now would be the best time to kind of introduce you guys into how I wear a bold lip. Um, as you can see, it looks like I have on minimal makeup, and I do. I'm wearing a very light cheek, I'm just wearing my MAC Stay Pretty blush. Um, I have on 
a basic transition color in my crease and then I put on a tiny bit of MAC All That Glitters in on my lid. Um, and then just line my waterline like I, like I would typically do and then um, just mascara, super easy. Of course I'm wearing bronzer and foundation and everything, but I don't look overdone. I feel like the easiest way to wear a bold lip is when you're wearing something like this because you're not gonna take away or you're not gonna look too um, out there, I guess would be the best word. You know, there are specific times and events and things where you can wear a smoky eye and a bold red lip and you're gonna look fantastic. But for me to wear a bold lip like on just a regular Tuesday afternoon, running errands, picking up my kids from school, whatever I'm doing, this is how I would wear my makeup. So super simple, nothing too um, over the top. I mean, it's just, it looks pretty. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna start with is So Marilyn, and it's this teeny tiny little um, lipstick I got. It's from Charlotte Tilbury and um, it's about as bold of a red as you can get. And it's so cute and little. Um, I love it. I, it's just, it's precious. On camera, it's coming off more orange, but I promise you, in, in real life, it's red. So let's put this on. Okay. So see, on camera, it's coming off orange, but I promise you, it's a, it's a, it's a deep, deep red. Or something that I could probably compare this to would be um, Ruby Woo by MAC would be very similar, in my opinion. The formula of Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks are, it's fantastic. I, I love them. That's the only one I've own, I own, but I have tried um, other colors. And I'm still wearing a bold lip, but it's not so much where people are like, whoa, you know, it, it, it's wearable. If you wear your makeup the way that I have it right now, just a simple neutral look, it, it's going to be more wearable for you. All right. So next I'm going to do something kind of fun. Uh, this was probably the first bright lipstick I ever purchased. I purchased it, uh, I don't know, I wanna say eight or nine months ago. I came across it and and this is by Urban Decay and it's um, the Sheer Anarchy. And so I went sheer thinking, ah, you know, this will be a lot more wearable, I guess. Um, but it builds up and it builds, it, 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 it's sheer, but it's got a color punch to it. So let's try this. This is what it looks like. Get y'all, I don't have very good lighting, do I, you guys? Okay. Um, I would say, like, the best way to describe this is it looks Barbie pink. It's the easiest way for me to describe it. So this is, it's, it's shiny. It's a sheer color. But, I mean, see how with a neutral look, it's gonna be easier to pull something like this off. But keep in mind that going sheer, um, you know, doing a bold color in a sheer formula can give you that little bit of, okay, well, it's not so bad because it's not as opaque. And, you know, you can feel more comfortable with it on the lips because, I mean, obviously a matte formula is gonna, it could be a, a tad heavier than a sheer formula. But just keep that in mind, you know, if you're not all about a, a bold matte lip, that's okay. Try a sheer formula and, you know, maybe that'll help ease you into something that's, you know, more opaque. All right, next one I'm going to do, it's another sheer color and it's by ColourPop. And it's one of their lippy sticks and it's in the color Safari. And this is about as orange as it can get. And it's... To me, it's just, it's stunning. I love this color and I wear this pretty frequently. So, I mean, 
it's orange. It's orange lipstick and it can be intimidating and it can be scary. But once again, the sheer formula is gonna help you to wear that color. So if you are scared of a bold lip, if you're scared of a red or a purple, which is gonna be my last uh, lipstick I show you guys because it's my favorite, um, try it in a sheer formula. You guys like my shirt, it says leave me alone on it, isn't that awesome? Next color, well, you know what, we may not finish off with the purple because the one of the colors I have is a matte formula and it's, um, it's a liquid lipstick. So that one might be the last one because who knows how long it'll take to get that one off. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into two MACs um, that I, am, I absolutely adore. Um, this is called D for Danger and I just posted about this on my blog the other day, all my MAC lipsticks that I own. And this color, y'all, it's the ultimate brick red. That's, that's it, it's the ultimate brick red. And this is a matte formula. So this isn't, I mean, it, it's, it's, it'll budge, but it's not gonna budge as much as like a glossy sheer would. So let's go. Y'all see, this is bold. Isn't it gorgeous though? I mean, this is like, the it's the ultimate color <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, if you're gonna go red, this is the red to do. And um, if you want, head over to my blog after you watch this video and you can read more about it. Um, and, um, you know, read basically what max description is of this lipstick, but isn't it stunning? I mean, it's vampy. But if you wear your makeup natural the way I'm wearing it, it, this is an easy thing to pull off. I mean, it's just, it's easy to do. So there you go. Gorgeous color. And I would recommend with this one doing a lip liner just so it doesn't budge outside the lip line. I feel like that's going to give you, you know, not only will it give you more staying power, but it's also going to help protect that outer lip line that we're all so worried about when it comes to wearing a dark color. All right, next is my favorite MAC lipstick of all time. I mean, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go. And um, this is the color I would try. Do you guys remember back in the day, um, oh, back in the day, early 90s, Mary Kay had a lipstick and it was called Grape. And my mom wore that lipstick all the time and it was so pretty and this color is what it reminds me of maybe a tad darker but man that lipstick it was so cool that you know in those days i was just this tiny little you know growing up little girl and my mom had on purple lipstick and it was so cool but um this is what this one looks like i'm gonna try it on for you guys but that's what this reminds me of is that mary Kay that grape color i don't they, I, they don't sell it anymore but it was a good one. Application is not the best, but I've been trying on all these dark, all these dark colors. So it's starting to get a little bit of bleed outside the lip line. But isn't this stunning, you guys? I mean, it's oh my god, it's gorgeous. This is a satin formula, by the way, from Mac and it's called Rebel, once again, amazingness. And I just think, I mean, this is the kind of lipstick too, that if, you know, it can make your teeth maybe look a tad yellow, but I don't mind that. <laughs> just because I love the color so much. I mean, this is the color, this, and then probably the D is for danger is what I, or D for danger is what I wear the most during the fall. And I'll do my makeup super simple like this. I mean, this makeup look from start to finish took me maybe 20 minutes to do it. And then throw in a bold lip and you look so put together. And it, you all, but you stand out. I mean, this, how does a purple lip, a dark purple lip, how does it not stand out? You know, like, oh, you remember that chick in the purple lip? Yeah, that's me, hi, over here. Um, so anyway, I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous and I promise you, if you get this lipstick and you do something neutral, you're not gonna regret it. 
All right, y'all. I have to say, kind of glad this is the last one because my lips, <laughs> I'm, they're, they're feeling it. Okay, so I'm just kind of taking my beauty blender that I used to put my makeup on. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into, this is the Jouer Lip Cream in Cabernet. And it is, it's bold. <laughs> and because this is a liquid lip, I needed to do it last because I'm not sure how well it'll come off with, you know, a makeup wipe or any of that super quickly to move on. But anyway, this is the Dofa applicator. Let me show y'all. This is the Dofa applicator that it has. And so we're just gonna jump right in and apply this liquid lip. I mean, isn't this color stunning? I mean, you see this on another, look at my hair, it's a mess. And it's like curling all weird, I don't know. But you see this on a woman walking down the street and you just, you think, oh my gosh, how pretty, you know? But in all actuality, it's, it's easy to wear. If you put forth the effort of, you know, applying it correctly, exfoliating your lips the proper way, and making sure that, you know, it's not gonna go outside your lip line like mine is right now just because, I don't see that. Hmm. Just because I've been applying so much, <laughs> so many lipsticks today. And this is one I think that makes your teeth look whiter, but I don't know, look at me. Hmm. Um, so, I mean, I love this color and I think that it would it's easy for me to pull off and I think it would be easy for you guys to pull off and I definitely think that you should give a bold lip a try this fall. Try it out and let me know. Come back to the comments or follow me on Instagram or on Twitter and then let me know that you, know, you did it and send me a shot and let me know, tag me and the picture so that I can see that you know you're 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 doing it because I know that it takes guts and it takes gumption in order to pull off a lip like this. I hope that you guys like this new camera setup. Hopefully it'll be easier and faster for me to get in. You hear my son see so he's waking up so it's time for me to get going. Um, hopefully it'll be faster and easier for me just to get it um, into final cut, get it edited and get it on YouTube a lot quicker. That's the plan. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching um, and I appreciate all of you guys and I will see you really soon. Bye.